For today's brunch slash breakfast, um, it's 12 o'clock now. I just made avocado toast on sourdough with mushrooms and hot sauce and salt and pepper. So easy, just going to continue working on my dissertation. It's sunny outside, but it's pretty cold. A vision. So I'm just gonna quickly make some pesto pasta. Super easy, just gonna cook pasta. Stick some of this in and add some veg. And that's gonna be dinner. Dinner is ready. That literally took me five minutes. It's gonna be so yummy, it's healthy. Vegan pesto, amazing. Good morning. <laughs> oh God, I look so bad, I'm so sorry. Um, I was drinking last night, so I'm a little bit hungover, but not as hungover as I thought I was gonna be, which is great because we can actually like cook some nice food. Um, I actually woke up pretty early, I woke up at half eight. Um, and you know, this is a realistic what I eat in a weekend, so I feel like it's only natural that I should be slightly hungover. Um, but I'm just cleaning up the kitchen, I'm doing the dishes, and then I'm gonna go to Lidl and get some groceries and make like a nice breakfast because that is exactly what I want. I think I have some leftover um, like vegan bean chili, so I might conjure up like a breakfast burrito kind of situation, maybe. I'll see what I'm feeling.
So good. Mmm. Well, so my leftover chili, which is sweet potato kidney beans, a little bit of mince. Yum. Fried potatoes, avo, spinach, hot wow, sauce. Wow, sweet. I'm going to try one I'm just gonna make myself a smoothie. I usually do this in the morning, but um, I had that match instead, and I feel like I need an afternoon pick me up. So we're doing kind of tropical. Got some mango, pineapple, papaya, spinach, banana, um, and some coconut milk. Is it obvious that there's? three art students doing dissertations in this apartment. Like we just have so many books everywhere. The tofu usually takes like 20 minutes to crisp up, so I'm gonna prepare that now. Kind of, I'm just gonna do like a tablespoon of each. tofu, rice, broccoli, carrots, peppers, and a peanut sauce on top. And we're watching Hall's Moving Castle. I've actually never seen this before. because there's mackerel fish in it and she also used a I think it's a sambal trassi paste has shrimp in it um, but we're doing like a vegan plant based it's basically just aubergine what other other veg you have tomatoes sambal um, and yeah
how cute is this? My mum made the baked tofu that I did yesterday and I just did her aubergine sambal. Definitely not as good as my mum's, but not bad. Hey guys, it's later. I don't know why I do this to myself, but this is what I look like 99% of the time. Um, I'm getting a spot below my nose, which is really upsetting. So I have a pimple patch on. Um, anyway, <laughs> we're eating food. We're eating food again. It is later and I have such a sweet tooth. I don't know about you, but like I honestly always need dessert. Um, so one of my favorite things to do is to go on wellness with Sophie Sakant, who's my fave, and try out one of her little like mug cakes or single serve recipes. This protein mug cake is one of my personal faves. I'll stick it on the screen. However, I don't have protein powder, so I'm just gonna add some more flour. And I also have some ripe bananas, so I might just like switch it up a bit. I'm balancing you so precariously because I can't be asked to go grab my tripod. Four tablespoons of flour. Oh, look at all the little colors. This is what it looks like whenever you mix it. Um, also, meant to be, I only have one square of chocolate left. So, I'm gonna break that up. Oh my god. Do you see how sexy that is? Probably gonna end this video here. I'm gonna go watch some below deck and go to bed. But I hope you enjoyed and I hope this was somewhat entertaining. Um and I hope you're all well. Sending so much love. <laughs>